especially like these AirPod case bags, phone case bags, they're all going to be not as relevant in the coming years. We still spend a lot of money on a wallet on chain knowing that cards are something that may be of the past soon. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. All your help would be awesome. I'm about the Chanel wallet on chain today. Ever since I, well, the other day I made a video about why I think you shouldn't buy Chanel anymore. And you can watch that video if you like, um, if you haven't already. But I was looking at the Chanel wallet on chain and, you know, I feel like the Chanel wallet on chain is seen as a real classic piece to have in your collection. It's versatile, easy travel bag, you know, chuck it in your bag and go. But I wonder if at the $5,000 price point, people will be seeing the wallet on chain as like an investment anymore, particularly because I feel like like cards, the amount of cards we are carrying is not necessarily like 20 cards anymore. A lot of things are stored in our phone these days. And I have a feeling in the next five years, maybe even 10 years, maybe all the credit cards will be stored in our phone. Maybe like, you know, train pass will be on the phone. And it's really unnecessary to have a bag with all these card slots if it, there is no use for cards anymore right so is a classic wallet on chain even classic or is this something that is going to eventually be discontinued by default because we just will not need cards anymore does that mean do you think that in the future like louis vuitton Laurent, all the brands will stop making wallet on chain because we don't need cards or perhaps they'll still have this compact shape but have it without cards so maybe they'll instead design a section for your airpods or a section for photos or a section for letters or something different because these like very small card slots are really only designed for cards and if you don't need cards then what's the point of buying one the wallet on chain shape is actually very practical if you're just carrying like you know your phone and like as I said, cards, but if we don't have cards, maybe you could still use this shape for other things. I mean, the card slots are going to be pointless if we don't have cards, but you could definitely put like a lipstick in there or something. It'll be interesting to see how, I guess, bags evolve over time with the changing of technology and our lifestyles. You know, um, I was doing some research on like the very first bags, and I feel like I, what I've seen is it like I feel like in like the 17 or the 1800s like way back they used to carry little belt bags with to store your coins in these little pouch bags and I think this like little belt bag concept is still something that we uh actually still wear today you know those like micro belt bags are still kind of something you could wear as a fashion accessory but perhaps we're not carrying coins anymore and who knows, guys, in the future, we might not even carry cash or coins all together, and we might not even need a wallet. And if we don't need wallets anymore, well, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, all the brands, they're going to maybe stop making wallets altogether. And if we don't need wallets, then I don't know. What's the point of it? Maybe all SLGs, we won't need any SLG. Maybe your keys will be on your phone. Like, will everything just go to phone? Maybe we won't even have phones. Like, I just wonder what bags will look like in 20 years, 10 years, because I feel like technology is advancing really fast. And a lot of these pieces, especially like these AirPod case bags, phone case bags, they're all going to be not as relevant in the coming years because of how fast technology is advancing. And I feel like a lot of the reason why people buy bags like myself is not always for specific purpose. Sometimes you just want to collect them. Sometimes you just wear them to add something to your outfit. Um, you just enjoy the look of handbags, the feel of handbags. And I think that's why uh, this micro bag trend was really something that came back in fashion like the last few years because a lot of people just like carrying a cute little bag and it doesn't necessarily even have to be practical or fit anything. It's just to add a little accessory to your outfit. But it's weird that, you know, we kind of downsized to these micro bags and then I've noticed that bigger bags are coming back in fashion again. So maybe people are wanting to go back to how it used to be. People are kind of missing what it was like when big bags were in fashion. Maybe we were carrying our journals. Maybe we were writing letters to each other. Maybe we were just wanting to carry around like more things with us, like gym gear or whatever. 
in a way, big bags will always have a place for like physical objects, but for like technological objects, maybe something like a wallet on chain is not as useful anymore because it's too small to actually carry anything physical like sunglasses or, you know, a notebook or something. Do I think wallet on chains will be something that is not a style that is created in the future? I think that they will still make wallet on chains but perhaps they'll design them without the car slots. Maybe they'll make them so they only fit like a phone and I don't know like paper because that card slot um, section of the wallet on chain I feel like it's something that is going to get outdated over time. Even long wallets in general you won't often find a lot of younger people. This is a generalization, but from what I've noticed, a lot of younger people tend to go for small card holders over long wallets. A lot of brands are definitely releasing more of these smaller compact wallets and card holders as opposed to long wallets anymore because again, not as many people are carrying these massive bags so you can't fit a long wallet in it and we simply are not carrying that many cards anymore. Um, so yeah guys, can you imagine like wallet on chains not being a thing anymore? I don't think a wallet on chain is honestly that classic given all the card slots in it. Although cards have been around for like a very long time, like I think credit cards were really popular even during the 50s, I don't think it's something that's going to be as relevant in the future. Um, I just recently bought like an Hermes bag from the 60s as well and I thought it was really cool how it came with a little compact mirror in the in one of the pockets and you know this that is a, like a detail that you don't always see in a lot of modern day bags. Uh, someone actually wrote in my comments that uh, some vintage Kellys actually came with a mirror inside and this is something that was changed up so yeah, I think as time goes by, a lot of these designer houses definitely design the interior of their bags differently depending on the current times. I mean, even like something like my Gypsia 28, I think this is from around 2012, I don't know, maybe 2010 era. This actually has like a small pocket for like a flip phone or a Nokia and that is something that I don't think um I think Hermes would probably update for their Gypsy Air and it's something that I don't think they would have in like um some of their newer design bags because that like whole flip phone uh like wallet like little pocket section is something that you really noticed in like you know the 2000s era um, and you'll also notice that little like pocket for a lot of Y2K bags from Louis Vuitton. A lot of brands used to do that, but a lot of brands will not do that anymore because of bigger phones. I wonder if wallet on chains will be a thing in the future. Do you think they are classic? Will you still spend a lot of money on a wallet on chain knowing that cards are something that may be of the past soon? Or are you someone who will forever for your life carry a lot of cards and love the organization of like a long wallet. Um, I personally still like carrying cards. I still like having a physical like card to pay with as well. I know a lot of people pay on their phones but I still like to have both and when it comes to like um, going on the train and that sort of thing in Australia or in Melbourne we still just have a physical card so I know in other places you can just use your phone to like tap on but um i can imagine that in the future a lot of things are going to be streamlined to our phones and maybe we won't really even need to carry a bag except for like makeup and who knows maybe even makeup will advance and it will be very compactualized as well are you a fan of the wallet on chain i don't personally have one myself because um i find them a little bit small and i prefer the look of like a mini bag uh but i have kind of been entertaining the thought of getting like a constance to go or a kelly to go i think they are uh really nice i just like the details on those bags uh, but they actually don't have the all the card slots that uh, like a typical wallet has anyway, so maybe that design uh, isn't as dated on the inside, but yeah. Let me know guys what you think about Wallet on Chains. I just had a few thoughts today, so I thought I'd just, you know, blab them out. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!